uh, new month. So happy March to everybody. I hope everybody had a great weekend. I know the weather's been kind of weird for everybody across the country, but uh, excuse me, my throat's a little sore. So, uh, but I'm doing the a. It's going to be a short and sweet show. I'm not going to get too too long in it. Um, but hey, uh, if every episode is super long, you guys wouldn't watch me. So, <laughs> um, this past weekend, I had some, I did some work. Uh, first, I want to say first reasonably sized con of the year for me, uh, for the weekend. Uh, me and my boss worked the Happy Valley Con, and that is in State College, uh, Penn State area. Uh, my boss helped these guys organize uh, because they wanted to revitalize uh, their version, their Comic Con in their area. Uh, I guess there was one they called it the Nittany Con, but they haven't had that in five or six years from what was explained to me. Uh, so we got a table. Uh, it is the out in that area, like Altoona State College. Uh, it's a little bit different than out in the Pittsburgh area. It's a little bit different than Philly. Pennsylvania is so big that the regions are so different in atmosphere I would is the best way I can put it um, but uh, I'm trying to think of how. it was really nice uh, it was a very smooth first con uh, we've had some cons that were very rough uh, that I've experienced so far in my short time in this uh, in my expert, in my uh, opinion here, I've only been doing this for, this will be my second year full time. So, but I have been to enough as a consumer, as a fan, and now as a vendor, you get the gist of what's usually in there. Uh, this was a very diverse con. Uh, they did have some celebrities, uh, nothing huge, um, but they did have some voice actors. They had one legitimate actor, uh, some artists. Uh, there was only five comic vendors, so it wasn't very heavy comic. Uh, it was more toys and, I want to say crafts or pop culture-esque type vendors. It wasn't bad. Like I said, it's not a bad con at all. Um, it was very, I said, it was very smooth. I enjoyed it. It was, we were, we kept steady. We weren't slammed, but we weren't totally dead. Uh, but, you know, there's always something with a new con, uh, good, bad, or otherwise. So, um, that's all I really have to say. I have, I did notice this weekend that, uh, a lot of people were not buying the big books, which surprised me. Uh, for those who don't know, like when I refer to a big book, I mean a, solid key in a comic book that I, I won't say it'll never go down in value, but it's that think of comic books as stock where you have the blue chip stocks. These would be the blue chip stocks of the comic book, comic realm. Nobody looked, well, people looked, but they didn't pull the trigger, which surprised me because there were some solid books there and they were reasonable prices uh, if I didn't have bills to pay myself, I probably would have bought a couple of them myself, but 
I am being super frugal this year. I am not going overboard. So, you know, I'm definitely, like I said, in the last show, I am being picky, but I'm trying to I'll do a little here and there without jeopardizing financial and paying bills and everything. I, I don't want to deal with that. Um, it's definitely not like it was with 2020 where I was working and we were getting those nice little extra amenities from the government. But uh, what are you going to do? It's a different time. It's a new year. So uh, that's the way I look at it on that end. Uh, but I did get some things. Um, I always try to pick up something when I'm at a con. I don't, doesn't necessarily mean I have to get a book. There are things that do pique my interests. Um, I did get some stuff for my wife. Uh, so I always have to get her what she calls, she always asks for a prize to bring back when I'm away. So I got her prizes uh, from one of the vendors uh, who makes some really fantastic shape soaps and they're all homemade so it's none of the like chemical crap so it's really good soaps she really enjoyed them uh but as for me i'll pick up the first thing i got and i got this the first day on saturday uh it just piqued my uh, uh piqued my interest uh, one of the things that i <laughs> I don't want to say I collect, but as you could tell on my hat here, I like some pins, but they have to be something that catches my eye, is part of what I collect, part of something unique, you know. So it's, as you can see here in my hat, I have a old school Pittsburgh Penguin logo. I have one that I just got this past year. Um, with the Steelers in Oakland playing this past year. Uh, this was supposed to be the uh, Immaculate Reception Immaculate Reception uh, anniversary pin. And then I have a Marvel's Collector Core Black Panther pin. Uh, I just, I liked the old school Marvel Collector Core. I kind of wish they'd get back to it. Um, I haven't gotten one of those boxes in forever. And unfortunately they haven't gotten any better over the years. They've kind of, they're kind of stuck. And I wish they'd kind of think outside of the box when they do things, but Hey, uh, life goes on, things happen. Uh, but this one caught my eye. Uh, I think this is a, definitely a, uh, by reading the back here, this is a, this is a couple years old, and I didn't even know this existed. I got, for those who could see it, there you go. That is a venomized version of Galactus. <laughs> I know the venomized thing is kind of over and overplayed and everything, but and I'm not the biggest Venom fan myself, uh, but I do appreciate some of the unique... Um, unique versions of your favorite heroes or villains when they're venomized. I I just thought this was pretty cool. I put this on my bag and it stuck for a little bit, but unfortunately it has a very loose back on it. So I'm going to have to get it. I'm going to use a different back to keep this on there. Uh, the next two things I got here were from... Uh, one is from a a group that hopefully I'll see later this year. Um, they had some artisans there. And these guys were all dressed up in Viking gear. And I appreciate a good Ren Fair look. Uh, I love our Pittsburgh area Ren Fair. Uh, I try to go to it once a year. I missed a few years for a while there and then of course covid you they canceled it for 
the year of COVID and the year after. So I think this past year was the first year back and boy, were people, we sat in line in the car waiting to get in to do uh, the Ren Faire. Uh, but we did and it was fun. Uh, I love going there. Uh, whether you dress up or not, it's a fun experience for you, your kids. If you're interested in glass blowing or the way the blacksmithing or even just like the whole Knights of the Round Table, you know, just good old fashioned, like interesting things. I, I enjoy stuff. Uh, it's, I just don't get dressed up like I used to, but uh, put this right there. These gentlemen here, let this focus here. We focus, focus, focus. This was their card, so to speak. <laughs> I'm trying to give you guys a shout out here, but uh, it is so hard with this. Yeah, it's not, it's not uh, properly focusing. I have to get a better cam. Hopefully I'll get that sometime this year. Uh, but I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, and I did actually buy some. I was debating. I kind of wanted this really cool axe they had, uh, but I did not get the axe. I controlled myself. But one of my other things is I do appreciate a good knife. And uh, I got the... I think this is supposed to be a raven, but they handmade this. Really... It's really sharp, really nice. This is real leather for that. It's a nice sheath. Uh, really nice. I, I love a good knife. I, it's, I just love the uh, feel of it. And like certain other things in this world, it's safe because you can control it and you don't need a background check for it so but not that i wear this around in public this is definitely for a costume or a dress up sometime and this is going to be one of the things i carry around but it would not be me going to a con with, without going and getting some books uh, i went to a one vendor uh he was occupied or he was i don't know if he was restroom or eating or whatnot uh but his uh assistant which would kind of be me uh wasn't couldn't do deals i was asking questions and all i got was an i don't know and he looked down at his phone now i would never look down at my phone but i at least would do my best to answer the question and i understand if you don't if you're not allowed to do something i get it but I kind of wish they would have did because they had some really nice uncanny X-Men that I'm really trying to get that run kind of going again. But um, one of the local Altoona, uh, well, he's from Altoona slash college. He, was, he said he's in between. Uh, he runs it out of his home. But he had a really nice... This is also one of my runs that I've been trying to finish. Um, I am a big Hulk fan, as you guys can see from the back here. And I found this is number 127. Now, it's not really a key or anything, but I really, I used to be able to get like early Hulks like this for 10 maybe 15 at the most bucks. It is very hard to get them around that price point anymore uh but this was a ten dollar book uh it does have like a looks like it has a fold right here like where i'm pointing to here um but other than that and it's a color breaking folder because i could see it all the way down there's some chipping and whatnot but uh in general it presents very well I'm very happy to have this and add this to my Hulk collection. This gets me a little bit closer. Uh, there's not a lot of these that I need left. I think I just need some ones in the early teens and ones in the late, like 
towards the 200 and then I would have uh, the when they redid this to 200 uh, which is like I think they started like 101 and then to 200 um, but uh, I got these I have my astonishing tales which is the from this point like from that point on um, I'm really happy with it uh, I, like I said, I wish I could have gotten some of the X, looked at a couple of the X Men. Maybe I would have gotten a better deal, but if I would have did that, the the knife would have not been purchased because I would have at least spent money on that. Uh, but I was gonna say, as far as little things here and there, little knickknacks, I'm happy with it. Um, what is that going? Uh, I know. What, Cocaine Bear came out. I have not yet seen it. Um, I'm probably not going to spend money to see it. Although I will wait till it comes out on streaming and I will stream it and it's going to be fine. And I'll see it. And I'll I heard it's what you think it is. So I'm cool with that. I did. I just did today. Uh, watch the Mandalorian. Excuse me. And it was it was pretty good. Um, first episode of the new season. Uh, very short though. You could tell how short it was. I felt like they they were cutting things. So, Lord knows. Um, I don't think there's much more I can really do. Like I said this is a short video today, guys. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, hopefully next week I'll do a little bit longer um, as long as it's a dead time. Uh, don't forget if you want to hear more what's going on uh, or more of me BSing, uh, I believe we're doing the podcast tomorrow on the Toddcast. Keep an eye out. That's all you have to do is write Toddcast. And that is my company, New Dimension Comics. That is our... Uh, podcast slash YouTube channel. So, um, like I said, I do, I'm doing this as a personal thing, and it's um, it goes directly to my Facebook and all that fun stuff because I know people were asking me, "Are you still doing this stuff?" And like I said, the last one, uh, I am, but I'm doing it on YouTube for my company. So I don't have to do this as much solo anymore but uh I'm gonna, like i said i'm gonna try to do both do one i'll do mine here on wednesdays and then maybe and then i'll do the, the new dimensions on a thursday and then everything hopefully will work out that way uh i hope this helps out a little bit i hope you guys thought this was kind of fun uh like i said i'm Liked the Happy Valley Con. Uh, actually, I, your boy, was written in through the local paper. Uh, I was interviewed to discuss of why younger generations should be interested in comic books or the pop culture or the geek culture. Uh, it's so I got to say a little bit of something. Uh, I I made sure my boss. Uh, read it too, and he said, I am not fired, so that means I did a good job. <laughs> so, uh, I hope this uh, goes well, and I will see you guys next week. Uh, see you guys. <laughs>